Hello YouTube fans, here again. Now I thought I'd talk about a movie, but not just any movie, and a what it movie. That's right, from the same makers that given us nine and a half weeks, they gave us this one, Jumoon Moon Johnson. Say that again, Jumoon Moon Johnson. If you remember the dirt that played in the well-known series Chin Peaks, you probably remember it in this film. Very attractive in that era, very pretty, and I must admit, definitely not shy at stripping off in this film. I would say, though, this is more of a drama than a robotic film. There is some nudity in it, there's a bit of bonking in it, but I still would say it's more of a drama. Starts off, you get a pretty girl, Gold April, and she's getting married, you know, the Ritz, the upper tars, you know, that sort of Snow White sort of bullshit to that. And long but old, they go into this fair town and she meets this guy, long hair, big muscles, you know, typical pretty boy. But he's more lower tass, where she's more upper tass. She sort of falls for this guy, even though she's getting in jades. And you get a bit of bonking on the way. So it's not really a bad film. I always remember though, I always remember the trailer. That had a taxi song in the trailer, it goes, I never knew this way. But Daddy, now I want you to do, 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 do. But sad to say, it's not in the film. There's a few good taxi songs in Two Moon Johnson, and again, it's more of a robotic, but more of a drama. Unlike Nine and a Half Weeks, where it had nudity, you had Tim Passenger and Mickey Woods just literally bonking each other stupid. This one, on the other hand, has more of a drama, it's more of a story. It's very stylized, it's a very stylistic film. And I've got to give the director he's do. He's very good at making these films stylish. It's a very stylish and a very slick film. So again, like I say, it's his girl. She falls for this guy who's a little bit lower tass. And he's in a fun fair. You do see a dog in it, and this dog must have been blood and famous. This is the same dog that was in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. The same there, it was in The Hidden. And it's also in this film, but it's the owner's dog. Sad to say the dog gets killed, which I think is the best actor in the film. And they get into a fight, the thing happens in the fair town where one of the rides breaks down. You do see a little guy in it and I'm thinking I've seen him before. Think of the little guy in the TV so fancy the iron and the little guy that played in um, Man with a Dolden Dun, and you know the little fella. Sad to say not long after doing this film, this was the same year when he committed suicide. Which is that sad. So they basically they get into a fight, his dog gets killed and they basically told him to fuck off and sack him. Which I think was a bit unfair really. There's one dirt in it, not nice to look at, but she leaves halfway and there's a bit of bonk in there. And um so it's not a bad film. Not a bad film. So long but old, you've got one woman who's basically the auntie of the girl, like a bit swear. Really. And I do know in the early 90s they made a sequel that basically was just an excuse for nudity and bonking. This on the other hand is not, it's more of a story. There is some bonking in it, but it's more of a story, it's straightforward, you know, it's sort of like a love story. So along the road he gets another job on the way and he's working on the post. And you've got an idea the auntie doesn't like him and she knows what's going on and she sets up a, um, I could put it, she sets up a hit man to die and bunk him off, but lucky enough, you think he's a goner. And he twats the die, rightly so, and you think he's a goner. And he's got a bit of a twist ending to Two Moon Johnson. If anyone remembers the scene where she strips off, there's a nice scene where she strips off, so it's all tits, ass, bust, a lot. And a little bit of bonk in there, but I'm a dog getting excited. And um, yeah, so it's not a bad film, Two Moon Johnson. Not a bad film, so. Starts off again, he's got another job. He's about to go off a shower. You meet her, so it's pretty sexy and hot. Um, he chases on, it does have a twist to the ending because she does marry that guy, that rich guy on the middle finger. She has a wedding ring. She has a fucking wedding ring, and it ends with date song, Gold Trip, which goes Gold Man with the Dun. Not a bad film. Again, if you're going into it in too much bonking, there's bits of bonking here and there, but I would say it's more of a drama piece, and that's what I like about Two Moon Johnson. It's more of a drama than um, a one bang fighting man. It's very stylish, very slick. 
Jerry Mount in the late 80s, 88, if I remember right there. And I do remember seeing it when it first came out on Star TV. This was the days when Star TV had some balls. And it's a good film. I like the Dirty Bay's April, pretty to look at. And it's definitely one of her big career roles after she appeared in Chim Peaks. It's definitely a big role. It's not a good film and it's very, um, like I say, it's a very stylish and slick film. And I actually like it. You know, I mean, I like the story to it. I mean, normally, it's, normally I'm not really into a what it films. I mean, if I want to see Bonky, and I'll just watch fucking porn. But this, on the other hand, it isn't that. It's more of a drama. You know, it's nice to look at. She strips off. She's definitely shy. And you've got an idea that there's a scene in it where he meets. And I love to see where the lad is just cocky. He's really just cocky and arrogant, but in a funny way. She meets him and he says, oh, yeah, um, I'm going to have a shower. And I really wanted a shower and I'm going to call the peace. I can't. It says here you've got to use shampoo and leave it in your hair for so long. So it's like a funny bit there where they do that. So there are some humorous bits in it. She kind of feels guilty because she's cheating on her boyfriend. But in all said and done, it's one of them that would probably cheat on her. So I just like the idea as a twist to it on the middle fingers. You see a wedding ring, so you've got the idea she's still going to be seeing, seeing him. So you know what I mean? I'd say it's a drama piece and anything else. So Two Moon Johnson, again, shot in 1988. Not a bad film. It's not a bad film, but yeah, it's all right. I'd say an after's rating, but it is a very stylish film. It has a good story to it. Other than that, that's Two Moon Johnson. Other than that. I'll see you soon with some more movies and some more movie reviews.